Hey everybody and welcome to Real Addicted Outdoors. Today we can go sit in the woods a little bit. I've got a little uh, spot not too far from the house. It's only about three acres but it's a good little bow spot. Um, so we can go sit there and see if we can't see if we can't find a deer walking by. Brittany got hers last week so I gotta try to try to make up for that. So let's go see what we can find. set up my blind and hunt this afternoon and got a text from my wife with a screenshot from Facebook that one of my buddies um, unfortunately his son got sick and he had tickets to the uh, local sportsman's banquet here and so his son's unable to go because he'd gotten sick post on Facebook that if any of his friends would like to go, he had an extra ticket. So, I went ahead and set up my blind, had my wife message him. So we're going to meet him at the Sportsman's Bank. Um, hopefully, they'll let me film inside. Uh, because Hank Parker is going to be speaking. It's going to be pretty neat to hear him. Um, I've never been to one of these. I've heard it's really neat, and I know it sells out every year within a day. So it's apparently a pretty neat thing to go to. So I'm glad to get the chance. So sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches and pack up your hunts, <laughs> pack up your hunting stuff, and change clothes and head out again. So let's go check this out. See what happens. See what there is. Okay. We'll see y'all in a little bit. season out there? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. And then it's deer season rolling in. Anybody excited about some deer hunting coming on? Come on. All the guys. I have heard about this dude literally all my life. I have had the opportunity to live in the same town as one of his four sons that we've gotten acquainted with one another over breakfast and been able to cut up with one another. But it is my privilege tonight to introduce you probably the most well-known bass fisherman there is, a native of Maiden, North Carolina, believe that or not, two-time Bassmaster Classic Tournament, one of four anglers to win both. He is the only angler to win the Grand Slam, y'all. Oh, shoot this thing. That's what I'm talking about. He is a member of the Bass Fishing Hall of Fame, Legends of the Outdoors Hall of Fame, and the International Game and Fish Hall of Fame. In over 30 years of hunting, fishing, and television productions, this gentleman, his integrity has remained impeccable because he loves Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, would you get to your feet and welcome my brother, my friend, Mr. Hank Parker. Well, I tell you, this is a hard act to fight. Good to be here. Good to be here. Wow. First time I've ever had a hard act to fall when it was the MC. Man, I, mean, I don't even know if I can get a Ric Flair uh, Yahoo or whatever it is he does. But pretty awesome to be here. I tell you, I, uh, 
I grew up as a kid with a dream of being a professional bass fisherman, and that don't take place in Saudi Arabia or the Ukraine or Russia or Cuba or any other place in the world other than the United States, and how awesome it is uh, that you can pursue your dreams and, and chase fish all around the country to make a living. Uh, and, and we have that freedom because of great sacrifice that was made by our military to give us the right to pursue happiness in America. And it's awesome. And thank you guys so much for your service. Everything you've ever learned that would make me a better fisherman, make you a better fisherman, what would that one tip be? And it's without a doubt, get rid of that job. That job will mess you up. I, I hate it. We gotta go to work when the fish are on the bed. Give me a break, man. We got better things to do. Where are you at? And we're gonna pick all of our guns up afterwards, right over there in the side room. And these guys are gonna hand, hand, take good care of you right there. All right, so yeah, we're taking that one right there. Bliss, you got my next card right here. How many of you guys, you won't take nothing but a Remington? Anybody out there with nothing but a Remington in their, in their, in their closet? Come on, I got any Remington fans out there? So I don't know. We're going to give you a Remington V3. little home protection, a little fun here, 12 gauge. Well, you are dismissed. The Lord bless you. God bless you guys. Hey, buddy. How are you? Doing good, you? Yeah. You see me sign that? I'd be glad to. Yep. I'm 37. When you sign? Yeah, a little bit of a black woman. And you have an amazing testimony. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Oh. Thank you. A little as much of God is in it, you know.
So I had to be on the ball next year watching Facebook and everything else. But hopefully I can go. And hopefully the speaker will be just as good next year. I'm in on trying to go. So hopefully, hopefully we can work that out. Be quick on the ball. So, but for tonight, that is it. Hopefully get to go hunting tomorrow. We'll see what happens. So thank you for watching Really Deep Dead Outdoors. I know this was a 180 degree video from where it started. They do have a lot of prizes they they gave away. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't win nothing, but I got to hear a very powerful story. And that's what it was about more than more than the prizes. So I'm glad I win. So we'll see y'all again next time. Thank you for watching. Really dig the outdoors.